Las Vegas shooting, 50 people killed in Mandalay Bay attack. At least 50 people have been killed and another 200 have been wounded in a mass shooting at a Las Vegas concert. A gunman, named as 64-year-old local resident Stephen Paddock, opened fire from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel towards an open-air music festival. He was shot dead by officers in the hotel where a number of guns were found. The attack is the worst mass shooting in recent U.S. history. U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted his warmest condolences and sympathies to the victims and their families, and called the shooting terrible. Sheriff Joe Lombardo described the shooting as a lone wolf attack. He added that police were now confident they had located a woman, earlier named as Marilou Danley, who was suspected of traveling with the gunman before the attack. Sheriff Lombardo said he was unable to give accurate details of dead and wounded, but confirmed two off-duty police officers were among those killed. A local hospital spokesperson said earlier that at least 14 of the injured were in a critical condition. There had been reports of other incidents at different locations along the Las Vegas Strip, but police said those reports were false. Witnesses reported that hundreds of shots were fired. Hundreds of people fled the scene and the sound of what appeared to be prolonged automatic gunfire could be heard on videos posted on social media. Many hotels on the Las Vegas Strip close to the scene remained on police lockdown and parts of Las Vegas Boulevard were shot. People sheltered in hotels, restaurants and at Las Vegas McCarran Airport. A witness, Mike Thompson from London, told the BBC that he saw people running in total panic. One man had blood all over him and that's when I knew something was seriously wrong. People were running and there was chaos. Some flights were diverted after news of the incident emerged. The country music festival had been taking place since Friday at several hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Nevada has some of the least stringent gun laws in the United States. People are allowed to carry weapons and do not have to register themselves as a gun owner. Background checks are done when people buy guns, but they are also allowed to sell them privately. Trump to Tursen, North Korea negotiations a waste of time. U.S. President Donald Trump has told his Secretary of State that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with North Korea over its nuclear program. Save your energy Rex, we'll do what has to be done. Mr. Trump tweeted, after it emerged the U.S. headlines of communication with Pyongyang. Rex Tursen disclosed the development on Saturday, saying North Korea had little interest in dialogue. The two countries have engaged in heated rhetoric in recent months. The U.S. wants North Korea to halt its weapons program, which has seen it perform repeated missile tests, as well as claim to have successfully tested a miniaturized hydrogen bomb which could be loaded onto a long-range missile. But attempts at dialogue seem to be at odds with President Trump's own attitude to the issue. On Sunday, he tweeted, in reference to North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, I told Rex Tursen, our wonderful Secretary of State, that he is wasting his time trying to negotiate with Little Rocket Man. He then added, Save your energy Rex, we'll do what has to be done. He did not elaborate on what he means by we'll do what has to be done. However a senior U.S. official, asked for clarification later, told Reuters, at a time when North Korea is continuing its provocations, the president does not think now is the time to negotiate with them. The official also said the diplomatic channels were mainly used to discuss American citizens detained by Pyongyang. Stay tuned. It is not the first time Donald Trump has sought to contradict top officials within his administration. In August, he said the U.S. military was locked and loaded ready to deal with North Korea, just hours after his defense secretary tried to cool tensions by saying that diplomatic efforts were succeeding. His comments come a day after Mr. Tursen revealed that U.S. officials had some communication channels open with Pyongyang, despite the escalating war of words between the leaders of both countries. 
asked whether North Korea would come to the negotiating table, the Secretary of State said, We are probing, so stay tuned. However, he later acknowledged that little progress had been made. Mr. Tirson was speaking during a trip to China, the North's biggest trading partner, to meet President President Xi Jinping and other officials. China just last week told North Korean businesses operating in its territory to close down as part of fresh United Nations sanctions against their reclusive state.